Have you got that question open in resolving vectors? Yeah. Oh, my eyes. Okay. Once you're ready, you can read it to me. We can have a look at it. I, I think the picture was something like it was a ball hanging down, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. 245. Um, yeah. Okay. I and is there two strings? Yeah. And is it like one is like this way? One is and one is like this way? No, one is one is horizontal. One is hor like this? Yes. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, and the other one? Uh, it's like this I way. Yeah. Okay. And uh, now we know there's a, a force here. I said. Yeah, it's that force is 245. Five newtons. And um, that one is 600. The dot. This one? Yeah. yeah. 45. Uh, we know it's 45? No, it's theta. Why? Well, I mean, hmm? around 45 days. Yeah, but we don't, do we? We don't know the angle. It's theta, is it? Yeah, theta. Yeah, and then this one here? That's F. And we don't know F? No. Ah, okay, interesting. Right, so th this is a... Uh, back, it gives us the delta is 25 kilograms, and the in hint, is says... I know, I wrote the hint. Yeah, because we haven't done the weight yet. So, so do you always use... Um, 9.8 SG yeah. here. No, not 9.81. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we use yeah. 10 in China. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Disgraceful. That's okay. <laughs> right. Uh, let's have a look now. So, this one here, we're happy to say is 600 cos theta. And this one here, are we happy to say it's 600 sine theta? Sin theta. And this one here, we're told is F, and this one here, we're hinted, is 245. Yeah? And also, I think in the hint, maybe I said this in the hint, everything should cancel. Yeah. yeah. Meaning, kind of like with the bird, this and this need to be the same. So it doesn't move. They cancel. So you have 600 cos theta equals F. That's no good. But... 600 sine theta equals 245. Yeah. That is good. Yeah. yeah, because that gives us the theta. The theta is sine inverse 245 over 600. So what is the theta then, please? 24.1 24 degrees. Then all we have to do is put that in there and we have the F. 600 cost 24.1. What's that? 548. 548. Yeah? Uh, Diego, is that okay for you? Yep. What, what tripped you up here? I just couldn't figure it out how to, like, how to start. Yeah. Okay. Is the rest of resolving vectors okay or not? Is there any other questions we need to do? Don't be shy. There was a definition in there, was there? What did I ask for? I'm just, I'm just thinking, like, uh, do we have to write the exact answer for like, definition? No. No. In your own words, it's okay. As long as you get the key points. Mm -hmm. A small question. Yeah. Question, question six and question five is the same. Is it? Yes. On resolving vectors? Yes. Okay. You didn't do it twice, did you? Yes. You did the same question twice? Yeah. Okay. No, no, I, I did it once. And uh, once is enough I then. I see, six, I, I write the same as question five. Yeah, yeah. The only reason it's there twice is because they used the same question twice in the past exams. So whoever was writing the exam was being a little bit lazy and just copied an older question. That's why it's twice. You'll notice that that, rare, that doesn't usually happen. It doesn't you, you won't see many examples but of that happening. Last night, I just four questions, that's it. Yeah, just for, for, for some reason, this chapter, it happened. But not for the other chapters. I don't know why. I don't know why. Okay, what about um, the next lesson, the velocity time graphs? Now, I think I said only do the first four. Didn't I? 
So question one, two, three, four. If you did them all, that's fine. I did them all, and in fact, is there there are only five questions again? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I said do the first four, uh, but really, yeah, that's nearly all of them. So okay, well, anyways, whatever. Any problems with this? Tree, yeah. What was difficult about tree? So, uh, there are three areas, right? You need to pick a leaf. Oh, okay, great. Do you want to read it to me, and we'll do it, number three. Oh, number three. Uh, a sports car starting from grass accelerated and from the at 8.5 meters per second. Okay, let me just draw this as he speaks. So there's the time, there's the velocity. Velocity is in meters per second, and the time is in seconds. And what you say, it starts at rest and accelerates... Uniformly by 8.5? Yeah. Yeah. Does it say for how long? For 9 seconds. 9 seconds, yeah. okay. 9 seconds? Yeah. Yeah, continue please. And travel steady for 15 seconds. So that would bring us up to 24. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and it started to accelerate. Ah. To rest. Yeah. Does it say the deceleration? Yeah, 5.4 meters per second. Second squared, okay. And what's the question? So the question is total distance traveled by car in the train. Okay, okay. I think it would be very helpful if we can get this height here. Okay? Now, if you look carefully, you would have done this in Matt's class, you can say the slope equals rise over run. So that means 8.5 equals, we'll call this V, V over 9. This over this equals 8.5. This is what you do in maths. It's the slope, the gradient, okay? So can someone tell me please what the V is? Uh, 8.5 times 9, what do we get? 0.5 meters per second. So to finish, uh, I want the total area. There are three shapes. Triangle, rectangle, triangle. So we get S equals a half, nine, 76.5, plus 15, 76.5. Oh, we have to do, do the last one. A half, the base by uh, uh, 76. 76.5. Yeah, let's do this no, one. No, 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 huh? we need to use this. It has a simple way. Simple way, we don't need... We don't do we need know this know time? time? We don't need, no, need to know the time. All right, what's the simple way? And you, if you, if you, uh, we have three formula. One, uh, the simple formula about V, formula about X, the, and the formula. So if you, instead of the T yeah. in the second it's formula, you can get, it, you can get a formula really. like V squared minus U squared equal to A. Ah, but we haven't done those formulas yet. No, I'd like to do it this way. This way. I'll do the same thing again. I'll say 5.4 equals 76.5 over, oh, we'll call this here, this, we'll call this, I don't know, T. <laughs> over T. This over T is 5.4. Yeah? Right, so what's the T here? Uh, 76.5 over 5.4, what's that? What is it? 14.2. Or is it 14 point something something? 1.6. Yeah, so we'll say 1.7, because we'll round it on the last step. Okay, and then we have the answer, whatever that is on the calculator. Did anyone calculate it? What was it? Uh, 1,498. Ah, no. 1,498 is 1,500 then. 1,500. Oh, because you need 3. 1,498 is no good, because that's 4SF. We want 3SF, yeah? So this number here makes that one go up. Well, the answer is 1,500 meters. No, I got 2,000. Ah? Yeah, I got the one. Oh. Yeah, I got the thing with you, but the answer is wrong. 
the answer and the marking scheme's wrong? Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I think we didn't make a mistake. If you type this in, that should be right. What is the answer? Just like, like the answer I would get. Two thousand and thirty-three point seven five. Two thousand and thirty-three point seven five. So two oh three zero meters. Why don't we say two point zero? Ah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, two point zero three. Yeah. Or personally, what I like to do is write two point oh three km. Oh. Yeah, yeah. How I would give the answer. Um, okay. So that answer is different to the answer in the marking scheme, is it? No. Oh, this matches up with the marking yeah, scheme? Yeah, this one is correct. Okay. Well, then that's good. Do we need to see anything else from the homework? Yeah? Well, look, don't worry. If you didn't get those questions finished, remember I said to finish them for the weekend. So then on Monday, if there's another velocity time uh, graph. This is my mistake. I forgot to give the square to. Ah, you see? You see? So my way, nicer. Uh, less easier. Yeah. I'm a very simple teacher. I like simple ways. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, like I said, if you finish those tonight or on the weekend and you find that there's another problem, we can look at it on Monday's class, okay? okay. But we'll, uh, we'll continue with the next lesson then.